so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel. My name is John and I like to talk about WordPress tutorials that'll help you better your WordPress website, help you learn WordPress itself, and give you ideas of the thousands of things that you can do within WordPress. Uh, these tutorials are based for personal or business sites, it doesn't really matter. And if you have any questions, do let me know in the comments below. Today we're talking about how to create a file upload form in WordPress. So what I mean by that is you can create a form and then you can receive files. Now this could be JPEGs, it could be pictures, it could be videos, it could be maybe a resume or a PDF that someone needs to send you. Well, you can capture that information via a form and I'll show you how to do it. So let's get to it. Uh, we have all of our stuff on pressavenue.com where you can see all of the tutorials under tutorials here. Um, and additionally, if it's helpful, go ahead and give us that thumbs up or hit that subscribe button to see more tutorials. So this is a site that I use that's just for learning. Um, right now it has WordPress 5.4, which came out about five minutes ago. And then it has WP forms installed and nothing else. So it's just a vanilla WordPress site with those two things. Um, one thing I do get asked all the time is what is this WP Engine thing? It's hosted on WP Engine, which I recommend, and there's a link below, and that's what that is. So if you're on WP Engine, it shows that. Um, so what we're going to do first is go to WP Forms. Well, let me back up here. First, we're going to go to Plugins, and then you actually need the WP Forms Pro plugin to get this done. So the light one allows you to do, you know, drag and drop form building for basic forms like a contact form. So name and your comment and you hit go and it sends it to you. The pro version gives you just a ton of add-ons. I can show them to you right now. And it also allows you to do file upload. So briefly here are all the add-ons. And then it gives you more fields. And one of them is the upload. So if you haven't seen it, I'll go to add new and I'll say file upload form. Now this could be maybe a job application or, um, you know, you could do a donation form and have people send pictures, uh, all sorts of stuff or logos or anything like that. So let's see, or request a quote form. This is good. They can send you their website. They drew on a napkin and then they can take a picture and send it to you. So let's do this. Um, so we'll do request a quote form. Um, you can build these again from just custom dragging them all in, but these templates allow me to show uh, these forms being built very fast or very quickly, I should say. All right, so file upload form. Over here, standard fields. These come with the light one. Fancy fields are part of the paid pro one, which I think is definitely worth it. And right here is the file upload um, field. So I'm going to drag it in over here and I'm going to title this. I just click here business logo. So send me your business logo when you're requesting a quote from my company or whatever. So you can call this whatever you want. Um, description, you can put a description here. Please include um, JPEG and PNG files. All right, so there's the, the description there. Next, allowed file extensions. So the extensions that they allow, I have it right here. Let me drag it over. I'll make this way bigger. Are the following. So you can do a ping, a GIF, or JPEG. You can do docs, um, what is this, Excel, PowerPoint, or PDF. WAV file, MP3, MP4, uh, MAPEG movie, and then a WMV. The reason just these ones are allowed is that's what WordPress itself allows. Um, so they do restrict it there. If you need something outside of those uh, extensions, there's a plugin called, um, I'm gonna space what it's called. Oh, extra file types. Let me pull it up here. Sorry, I'm looking on another screen that you can't see. So if you add this extra file types plugin, um, 
which WP Forms recommends. It'll allow you to add additional file types that WordPress won't reject. Um, so like SVG, um, WordPress denies due to security issues. Um, I have used those and haven't had an issue, um, but those are just some of the things. So in here, since we're looking for a logo, I'll do .jpg, comma, space, .ping, because that's what I asked for. Say you wanted a resume, you do .pdf, or .doc, or .docx. Next, maximum file size. What I like about this is when you hover over the question mark, it tells you how much your server allows. So my server is set up to allow 50 megabytes, which is way too big, but that's what it's set to. Um, so I'm actually gonna allow maybe like 10. Um, I don't see really going bigger than that. If you had a 10 megabyte um, JPEG, I mean, it's, it's gonna be pretty big. And the number of files you wanna accept. So I told them I want two of their logos, so I'm gonna do at least two. But I usually up this because clients send different things and then you can make this required or not. Other things you can do in here is under advanced options. You can have this modern drag and drop, so it says you can upload five files. The client can dra dra sorry, grab their stuff from their computer, just drag it over this box and let go. And that's really nice and it's really modern and people are really getting used to this kind of stuff. You can switch it down to the classic, choose a file, it pops open a window and then they browse through their computer and find it. But personally, I like the modern style better. You can hide the label. Um, if maybe you wanted to write something above it with another field. And then next one, it says store file in WordPress media library. Um, so maybe if you're asking for a guest post with a picture, you would then want it in the library so you can capture it later and see it in the posts, etc. If you don't check this box, it actually stores it in the WP Forms folder. Um, so it's outside of the library, which is actually really great. Next, you have classes here and layouts. And then again, you can have conditionals. So you can say, only show this field if I have a checkbox. So I could say, do you have a logo? And if they say yes, it shows me the field. Um, and if they say no, then it doesn't. All right, that's fine. Um, and then field options. All right, I'm on the wrong one. Um, so that's it for field options. So we'll go to save. And then the embed code for this one is this guy right here. And I'll leave and I'll exit out of this. So we saved it, we'll exit. Now we'll put it on a page. We'll go to pages, add new. And we'll call this, uh, let's see, business quote form. Now I can go in here and I can put the short code in or I can go to forms and type WP forms. So there it is under widgets. And I select my form and it's the file upload form. And there it is. So you can see it right there. The reason it's tan is I'm using the 2020 WordPress theme. If you're not using that, it'll definitely look different. So I'll go ahead and publish this and I'll view the page. And then, so here it is here, it says drag your files in here. If we click it, it then shows my um, downloads folder. So similar to that classic, or I can come over here and go to downloads, and I'll drag in this picture here and let go. This one's huge, so we'll see if it's under five megabytes from Unsplash, and it is. What I love about this is the, it shows the size, so we're under, um, right, right under it. And then it shows a thumbnail preview of it, which is fantastic. Then I would fill this out and hit submit. One thing I love that they, that they do is instead of sending this as an attachment to an email, because 3.3, most people can probably take that. If you start adding five, 10 files, um, Gmail or G Suite will allow you to do up to 20 megabytes, um, but not every service provider will allow that. So what they do is actually they link it back to the site. So it's yourdomain.com slash um, WP content slash WP forms, excuse me, slash upload slash this, this right here, this link right here. So it, it makes email deliverability so much higher that you're actually gonna get this instead of having it go to spam or bounce. 
by the way they set it up and it's very well thought through. So that is how to upload a file via a form with WP Forms. So this one's pretty short and sweet. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Additionally, if this was helpful in any way, go ahead and give that a thumbs up. If you'd like to support this channel, we have a Patreon link below, as well as a referral link to WP Forms, which we love and use quite a bit. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you at the next one.